Good afternoon, and thank you for stepping into the file playland. As always, I'm your file player. Wanted to make this video regarding a, uh, a separate video which I just watched on Blue Blood Sports TV regarding um, the rematch between Anthony Joshua and Andy Ruiz. Uh, according to the video that I just watched, and please subscribe to Blue Blood Sports TV, but according to the video I just watched, um, they were saying that um, Anthony Joshua, um, god damn, I'm by uh, Times Square, New York, and some dude has like the most fucking bootleg fucking Iron Man costume on, hold on, let me see if I can show ya. Damn, I can't see like what y'all can see. This dude got like fucking pajamas on. And there's another Iron Man fucking dude next to him. Or another bootleg Iron Man. These dudes are fucking crackheads, bro. But, um, um, my bad. Yeah, so according to, um, Eddie Hearn, um, they were saying that they want the, the uh, rematch to be on, um, on November 16th, uh, back at the scene of the crime. Uh, where Anthony Joshua originally lost to Andy Ruiz in Madison Square Garden here in uh, beautiful New York City. Um, he was saying um, in the video that um, he didn't want Anthony Joshua to fight him at, um, at MSG um, and that he wanted um, the, the rematch to take place in the UK and uh, or... In a, in a litany of other cities that were supposedly offer, offering their services um, to uh, to host the rematch. Um, I'm going to dispute that uh, whole notion. Um, as far as, like, um, Eddie Hearn and uh, Anthony Joshua making it seem as if they have some sort of say as to where any of this goes down. Um... First off, I don't even think that Andy Ruiz wants to um, have the rematch at MSG because um, the um, there's the, the the Mexican fan base. I think there is a, a decent amount of Mexican fans in New York because we have a little bit of a of a Mexican community here in New York on the low, like not like straight up Chicanos like that, like they would in LA. Like the Mexican community we have here in New York. You're just starting to get, like, some of the English-speaking uh, Mexicans now, like, second-generation type dudes, but they're not deep like that. They have, like, a strong, like, straight-off-the-boat, like, immigrant Mexican community, but, um, you know, and I, I'm seeing some now as we, as we, uh, as I'm as, at the making of this video, but not the type that would, would, um, would uh, roll heavy at that fight. Um, so I don't think that Andy Ruiz, it would, uh, behoove Anthony, Andy Ruiz to have the fight in New York again. What I think that Eddie Hearn is doing, and, and, um, you also heard it from Andy Ruiz's mouth saying that he wanted the fight in Azteca Stadium in Mexico or in, um, in LA, which would, uh, benefit him because of the Mexican fan base, um, that are obviously in both of those places. But, um... What I believe Eddie Hearn is trying to do is that he knows there's no way that fucking Andy Ruiz would have agreed to have that fight in um in the UK because it's stupid. Like he has no Eddie Hearn is uh, has no bargaining power. Eddie Hearn is desperate for um to have any sort of chance at reclaiming those belts because otherwise, like what what does um Matchroom have to to sell to you? Like Ted Cheeseman or um Kell Brook. Um, hold on. I think somebody's trying to start a fight with this little dude. Oh no, it's a delivery. Um, he was screaming, screaming on a delivery. Um, on a guy delivering food on a bike. Um, but um. At this point, like they have no uh, bargaining power when it comes to um, the demands that they can make on Ruiz. Ruiz could fight anybody, man. Like Ruiz could fight anybody here um, domestically. 
in America. He could fight another another Mexican fighter, and um, that'll be a big. Uh, it might be a bigger draw than um, what he had going on with Anthony Joshua, um, especially on TV. When the when if, if you believe the if uh, the rumors like I do that the uh, the zone um, broadcast um, only drew in um, between five to ten ten thousand viewers. And they're saying that that, lump, that that number was on the lower end of that, as far as like um, it being around six thousand viewers. Um, so they, he could fight anybody, any old anybody. Um, and Andy Ruiz could fight anybody, and um, do better numbers on TV, do better numbers as far as like how much money he makes. So Eddie Hearn um, is maybe doing a. Uh, what, what, what may suit his fighter best Because he knows that Andrew Ruiz is going nowhere near the UK To make that rematch happen So he's probably trying to make some sort of public pressure um, So that Andy Ruiz could meet him At sort of a middle ground Personally I don't think that that fight's even going to happen at MSG For reasons that I just stated Like it's just going to draw on a, uh, a large Eng- uh, a, uh, English crowd I think more Mexicans will show up um, this time around if they do have a rematch in MSG, but um, why would Andy Ruiz like um, agree to that? Like, he could have that fight like in Vegas um, on the West Coast, and um, if Eddie Hearn and um, Anthony Joshua don't like it, I mean, like they could kick rocks. I mean, he could go fight somebody else, or so they could um, they could um, exhaust their uh, the time to make a rematch happen and uh, fuck off. I think basically at this point. If, um, being that that's, um, Eddie Hearn's, like, sole chance at acquiring anything that he could sell, like, to the American market or even the English market, um, that they're, w- they're going to be willing to cave to any sort of demand that Ruiz has. And we're not even going into the monetary parts of it. And I think they don't want to either. They're not going to talk about splits or fucking who's the A side at this point. Because that's going to go terrible for them. That could be a sticking point that fucking um, Andy Ruiz could really fuck them on. And I actually think he is going to fuck them on um, the uh, splits or the money the money aspect of it. Um, also, too, uh, one of the things I was thinking um, when it came to a uh, rematch clause. You know, it's funny. Like, And I actually thought about this um, uh, not too long ago as I was showering. But fucking... Um, when it came to the uh, Andy Ruiz, it's funny how a guy uh, with who's a basically a, uh, a sub fighter um, who was um, thrown into the mix when um, when Big Baby Miller failed his PD test, um, he was able to draw a uh, rematch clause uh, when negotiating with AJ, uh, you know and. He was just thrown into the mix, happy to be there, you know, happy to be, be receiving his highest payday. He probably got offered um, close to what Deontay Wilder was offered uh, when he was initially offered 12 million bucks to fight AJ or 12 and a half million with no rematch clause. So if we go back to the arguments that were being made when um, Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua were sending Deontay Wilder those uh, initial contracts of 12 and a half million with no rematch clause um highest payday be damned like fucking uh you know um that just shows you who was uh really trying to make the fight and who were sending uh contracts um just to send them or contracts that you know weren't reasonable when it comes to uh championship fighters and you gotta also factor that Andy Ruiz didn't offer um or come with the belt um, when it, when it to to the matchup against Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder was coming with a belt, uh, with the WBC belt, unification uh, would have been undisputed, and for them to send a twelve million dollar offer, or uh, twelve and a half million dollars with no rematch clause, it just goes to show you that the uh, argument, um, of saying that. Deontay Wilder was ducking that whole thing, even though it's a old subject at this point, um, is a very moot um, point to make with all this. Um, but that's all I have for you guys today. Fucking, um, 
I hope you guys uh, like, subscribe. Fucking, uh, please check out my man, Michael Johnson, Boxing Talking More, where uh, myself, um, my other brother, Lowe's Dawkins, the Pimpin', um, our sometimes contributor, uh, Alex Santos. Make sure you subscribe to all those channels I just mentioned, but uh, that's the uh, only spot that I go live um, because I don't know how to go live, uh, one. And two, because Michael Johnson Boxing Talk More is my broski. Fucking, um, so make sure you uh, check us all out where we uh, get the chance to cook. Um, shout out to the almighty Lions Den Boxing community. Make sure you subscribe to all the fine channels of the Lions Den Boxing community. I hope you have a wonderful day. Maybe I'll make another video later. If not, fucking, uh, I hope you have a good day. Peace.